Good Friday morning, GLADS. I'm Hannah Hall. TGIF. I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, college visits are beginning to dwindle for this year, but we still have two visits scheduled for this month. Pick up your pass from the Counseling Center to attend. Here we go. Next Wednesday, on the 10th, the reps from Barb's on Southwest School will be here at lunch in the Lower Commons. And then, the following week, on the 17th, the reps from Western Colorado University close out our scheduled April visits. Remember, you can check out all the important college information in person at the Counseling Center or check their website online. Students, we hope you were able to take advantage of the test prep sessions our administration provided over the last 10 weeks. Our teachers are the best and we appreciate the time they took to help us prepare for these exams. Thanks to all our faculty and staff, you are true rock stars. Speaking of test prep, the SAT and PSAT exams are taking place next week. Juniors, the SAT is scheduled for April 9th during periods 1 through 4. Sophomores, we will be taking the PSAT 10 on Wednesday, April 10th during periods 1 through 4. And freshmen, your PSAT 9 is happening on April 11th during during periods one through four. Check the lists that are posted in the halls to find out where you are seated. All exams will be in Bowers Gym unless you have been instructed otherwise. Glad we put together a practice test for you with some tips to be successful on state exams next week. Here is Moose with the first question. Question number one. On the morning of your exam, should you do A, B, C, or D? None of the above. The correct answer is D, none of the above. Get a good night's nice rest the night before your exam so you don't sleep through the test like these guys. Question number two. When it comes to fueling your body for the test, should you A, skip breakfast, B, skip dinner, C, skip both, because who really needs food? Or D, have some breakfast or bring a snack for later and bring some water. Ding, ding, ding. The correct answer is D, have some breakfast or a piece of fruit. In fact, Miss Betsy has a box where students leave their unopened food or drinks. Come help yourself to those items on test day. Last question. On the test day, should you A, make sure your phone is charged to 100%, then blast your tunes during the test because that gets you pumped? B, wear your wireless earbuds since they are silent and nearly undetectable? C, put your phone on airplane mode or turn it off? Or better yet, leave it in your locker or backpack? Or D, keep your cell phone with you and answer all the texts your mom sends you during the exam? Of course, the answer is C. Please leave your phone in your locker or in your backpack and it should be off. Please tell your mom you cannot be disturbed during the exam so you will not be answering her 18 million texts until lunch. Good luck on your exams, Glads. Juniors and seniors, it is almost time to celebrate a trip around the world. That's the theme for this year's prom, which will be held at the Doubletree World Arena from 6 p.m. to midnight on April 20th. Those outside guest forms you picked up in the main office are due next Friday. Tickets are still available in the business office for $50, but only until April 16th. Remember, this is not an event where you can buy tickets at the door. And yes, your ticket price does include dinner. When we return, we'll have some information on the upcoming district art shows. But first, we're throwing it to our sports desk for our Gladiator Sports Update with Ethan Simon. Sports time! It's Friday, Glads, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Juniors and seniors, listen up. If you haven't signed up for a powder puff team, there's still time. Check with Miss Melton in room 103. The game is scheduled for April 17th at 5 p.m., following the tailgate at 4 p.m. See Miss Melton for the details. Tonight's the night to get your orange chicken at the Panda Express on 8587 from 4 to 7. The forensics team will earn 20% of sales from this fundraiser, so go out there and take one for the team. And forensics team members, mark your calendar because your end of the year banquet will be on April 11th at 6 p.m. See Miss Owen or Mr. Elhoffer for more details. Cheerleading tryouts will be next week starting on Tuesday, April 9th and going through Friday, April 12th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the small gym. Mm -hmm. Applications are available in the main office. See Miss Miles in the athletic director's office for details. Ladies interested in playing summer softball. If you've missed the meeting yesterday with Miss Griggs, check in with her in room 131 for details. In tennis news, barring a weather delay, the ladies are on the road today in Pueblo when they take on Pueblo County at 9 a.m. The ladies have been swinging some great rackets this season and we wish them good luck. 
We'll have results for you on Monday. The boys swim and dive team will be at the Indian Invite this afternoon at 3.45 and again on Saturday at 8.45 a.m. at Cheyenne Mountain. If you're in the area, go out and support the team. In baseball news, the boys were on Big Blue yesterday afternoon against the Titans, but the struggle continues and the boys took the loss. Take a short road trip to catch the boys on the mound this Saturday when they will take on the Demons from Golden High School at 10 a.m. in Golden. We'll have scores for you on Monday. In soccer news, why not kick off your weekend tonight with a road trip to Canyon City to catch the ladies in action at 6.30 p.m.? They would appreciate your support and we'll have scores for you on Monday. And now it's time for Damon's Dose of Health with some tips on test anxiety before next week. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health and today is all about test prep tips, how to overcome test anxiety. So the first thing that I think is important for you guys to know is putting things into perspective, um, understanding that as valuable or as important as a test may be, it ultimately doesn't determine your worth and it doesn't determine the type of person you are. So let go of that pressure of thinking that you have to do perfect on a test to be a good person. All right, here's tip number one. Be prepared, study, review, take advantage of opportunities to better yourself. Number two, make sure you're getting good sleep a few days prior to the test and especially concentrating on the night before. Fuel the thinking muscle. Eat nutritious foods that benefit brain power. Healthy fats, foods with antioxidants like berries, nuts, and seeds during the test. Number four, make sure that you have a positive attitude whether that's happy thoughts or a mantra that encourages you and keeps you going. Number five, read the questions carefully and pay attention to instructions. Number six, focus on calm breathing during the test. Number seven, don't pay attention to others around you, concentrate on what's in front of you. Number eight, it's actually important to keep an eye on the clock as you're taking the test. You don't wanna come down to the end of the test and have multiple questions and then have to start guessing. Finally, if you finish early, go back and recheck your answers. Best of luck as you prepare for tests in this upcoming week. And that is Damon's Dose of Health. Have a great day, guys. Thanks for the tips, Mr. Damon. In track and field, our Gladiator teams are headed to the John Tate Challenge Cup in Pueblo at Dutch Clark Stadium today and Saturday. We have some fast runners and strong competitors in this young team, so go out and support them. And finally, attention all football players and students interested in playing football next year. There's a new coach in town, and he wants to meet you and share his vision. Join Coach Zimmerman for a pizza lunch and presentation on April 12th in Bowers Gym. If you're interested in playing football, you really should check this out. Plus, pizza. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. We'll be back on Monday with scores and results. I'm Ethan Simon. Now back to the news desk with Hannah and Isaac. Thanks for that update, Ethan. Now, hear this. Registration for summer credit recovery classes have begun and the deadline to sign up is May 30th. The summer session starts on June 3rd and goes until July 28th with the orientation on June 3rd in the WHS Computer Lab. Check the district website to register or see your counselor. And now, it's time to hear what we're having for lunch with Miss Betsy and her crew of helpers. Happy Friday, everybody! Another week down, six weeks to go. Not that I'm counting. Today we're having beefy soft tacos and on Monday we're having roast pork with mashed potatoes and gravy. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, remember to add money to your lunch account in person or online so you can stay off conditions. Speaking of conditions, we thought we might need to explain what it means to be on conditions, so please pay attention. Being put on conditions means you have an outstanding issue that needs to be cleared before the end of the school year so the school can release your grades. Here are a few reasons you might be put on conditions. If you haven't returned a book to a classroom teacher or to the library, or you still have a uniform item you need to return to a coach or the performing arts teachers. You can also be put on conditions if you haven't paid a class or lab fee or still owe fundraising money. And if you owe money on your lunch account, that would also put you on conditions. If you're not sure whether you're on conditions, check Infinite Campus. If you are on conditions and you owe money, pay that to the business office. Otherwise, return your books, uniforms, performance wear, and locks, and try to take care of it before final exams start so you can start your summer break with no worries. And remember everyone, but especially seniors, if you wait until the last minute to clear your conditions, the line will be super long and you cannot leave campus until all your conditions are taken care of. Glads, our district art show is happening on April 20th at French Elementary from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Come check out the artistry from many talented students, not only at WHS, but also across the district. This event is free and open to the public. Remember that on April 25th, the PLTW Engineering Showcase will be at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. 
Cabaret Night is also scheduled for the 25th in the WHS cafeteria. Come enjoy the music stylings of our talented WHS singers. Who knows, you might hear the next contestant for The Voice or American Idol at this performance. The show starts at 6 p.m. and the cost is $3 for students and $5 for adults. Refreshments will be available for a small cost. So bring some extra cash and enjoy the show. The district-wide Day Without Hate will be celebrated on April 25th. To show our support for this year's theme, do what is right, not what is easy, we are being asked to sport our favorite white gear to show our support for the cause. Ladies, if you checked out the dresses in Becca's closet and didn't find anything, try the dress sale at the Trinity Missionary Baptist Church on April 13th. Dresses will be available for $20 cash donation at the church on 617 East Fountain Boulevard from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And finally, Glads, here is our shout out to our amazing teacher. Kyle Stockhouse and my reverse power ticket goes to Miss Overstreet because she helped us with any problem on the computer. Thanks, Miss Overstreet. Hi, my name is Tegan Keeler um, and I'm talking about Miss Caps. She has been an amazing influence and she has done so many great things for the cast and the crew of Dracula and Little Women and Anna Green Gables and the Adams family. We really appreciate everything that she's doing. Thanks, Ms. Caps. Hi, I'm Spencer Walter, and I would like to read my power ticket that I wrote for Mr. Wallace. Uh, Mr. Wallace makes lots of mistakes, but he owns up to them and helps us learn from them so we can cry less from the unending horror of calculus. Thanks, Mr. Wallace. I'm Katrina Stevenson, and my card's for Miss Owen. She's an English teacher, mostly for ninth grade, but she's also my forensics coach. I want to give this card to her because she's happy all the time. She's just warm and caring, and she's like a second mother to me. I actually call her mom all the time, as everybody knows. She's just warm and caring. She's always there for me whenever I need something. She's just my favorite person in the school. So thank you. Fill out a reverse power card to celebrate your amazing teachers in the attendance office, library, or counseling center, and we'll take it from there. Thanks for tuning in today. Have a great Friday. I'm Hannah Hall. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.